Hello, hello, and welcome to another fine episode of Toaster's Garage. We are completing the teardown of Big Red the Beast. We're going to take it apart and we're going to put it back together with some more billet parts. Join me as I break this bad boy down into 16 ovals. All right, I have here a 10 millimeter open box wrench with a closed space in too. And uh, that's gonna be the size I need for my intake manifold bolt. All right. Get up on that, baby. Yep, that's definitely the one I need. Okay. Flip this bad boy around. And put my gloves on real quick. Safety first, guys. You don't wanna be getting hurt in the garage, you know what I mean? Can't afford to be out here hurting yourself. So, all right, boy toaster about to get in. Gloves on. Let's go. All right, got my 10 millimeter. Ah, got some turners on it. You guys wanna see that? I'm sorry, guys. I ain't got no cameraman today. So it's just me in the garage. You know, Let's see why you get that on camera. There we go. show you guys this new head in action on this bad boy. These are just some items that, you know, my dad recommend me to strengthen on my motor. Not that nothing happened, but just to avoid some sort of catastrophic failure. And uh, I don't know about y'all, but I'm one of them dudes that definitely listens to my dad, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I think listening to your parents is always a wise thing to do. So, got a zip tie right here holding my relief line. I'm gonna go ahead and snap that with my needle nose pliers, just like so. Pop the zip tie right off. Back in toaster's chest it goes, okay. So that way I got full access to popping off this manifold. And then I'm still trying to decide um, if I want to take it off of the snorkel altogether. But I already know guys, for the setup that I'm running on my bike, this snorkel right here is gonna be the, the best design for me. You know, I know a lot of guys don't run the snorkel or some guys say it's hard to tune the motor with the snorkel on it, but it's not guys, you gotta think about it. There's that little mini bike called the Little Big Badass. It runs this snorkel on a mini bike. They run it all the time. So, you know, I believe that there's a way to get that shit tuned correctly. And, uh, you know, I, and one of those guys that will not stop until I, you know, I get what I want, man. Until I get this bad boy exactly the way that I want. You know, it's strong enough to pop steel motor mounts like cheese. So I've been, I've been thinking about going torque converter, y'all. I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking, thinking hard about going torque converter, but, uh, you know, it's hard, man. It's hard out here. I gotta work every day. I gotta come up with time to look up all these little parts and shit and see what works. I gotta do my homework. I gotta talk to the guys out there. As y'all can see, the snorkel's loosening right up. I gotta talk to uh, Carl Dean and them and see uh, what exactly do I need, you know? What do I need to, uh -oh, to do the jack shaft upgrade? Is that what it's called? Where you put the torque converter wheel on the jack shaft, 
to change out the bearings and everything. I want to do that. I definitely want to do that. So, if there's somebody who knows who has a part that's put together, that would be nice. All right, guys, so I think I got those just above the rim. Let me see if I have a socket that I can get around those bad boys, just so I can speed things up here. And when I say I'm speed things up, I'm gonna run it up quick, pop them on real fast. Is that true? socket and a little DeWalt power to speed it up for me. Socket drive for you make quick work of the situation. That's for sure. But thank you guys for watching a fine episode of Toaster's Garage. Uh, today we just did a manifold removal and, uh, you know, took off the manifold and a gooseneck off the beast. This is the system that I'm running. I'm running a true, oh shit. A true heavy duty, heavyweight Makuni carburetor matched to this intake perfectly. As you guys can see, it's perfectly mated to that intake. I'm not going to take that apart. It has, it has a great gasket on it, and uh, I'm going to reuse that anyway, just like this. So I'm just going to pop that off, set it over here on the side for right now until I'm ready to do something else with that. Okay, guys, got those two nuts. Stick those back in the block. All right, guys, remember, love, peace, and hair grease. Keep the grid out your teeth. Your boy Toaster, I'm out.